Okay, so it's me, and today um, I'm going to be adjusting this. Now, super cool KLR guy named Navy Thomas um, showed me how to do this. It's basically my exhaust has a chirp, and I guess every KLR uh, pretty much ever has the same chirp uh, on the stock exhaust. If you have the chirp, you know what I'm talking about. I'll give you a little sample so you can hear what it sounds like but basically it's pretty annoying um and i didn't mind at first but now i mind because this redneck guy pulled up to me the other day and i think it was because of the chirp but he pulled up to me and he was like hey does your motorcycle have a turbo on it and, and maybe he thought it was the chirp was a turbo anyway um anyway here's the here's what it sounds like That's the before sound, and you can hear that kind of, it almost sounds like a but it's really high pitched, and it's pretty irritating. And I just realized I just, ah, oh, I'm right by the exhaust. Okay, so how Navy Thomas 8 did this, is he has a screwdriver, and he has a big hammer, and basically he crams a screwdriver back here, and then hammers it in to make some little holes, and I guess that gets rid of the chirp. So he did it on his own bike, so I know that he's confident with it. And this shows how much I trust the KLR community, that I'm actually sticking a screwdriver in the rear end of one of my best friends and ramming it with a hammer. Okay, so here we go. This is a big joke, I'm gonna be pissed, by the way. <laughs> That's my son, by the way. He's providing the commentary. Actually, you can talk as much as you want, buddy. You wanna come talk to the camera? Show him your motorcycle. My motorcycle here, pull is... forward a little bit more and show them. My motorcycle... Oh, it's right here. You gotta talk to these guys. These... Um... My motorcycle just... Here. Get my motorcycle out of the way. So, they can't do that, but... So, I can't get the... Yeah, how fast does your motorcycle go? He's like that's the coolest. That's how it goes? Mm -hmm. He's the coolest little kid in the world. Alrighty, um, I've punched some holes. There's supposed to be some sp smoke. Let's see if it gets rid of the chirp. So here's the after. Are you ready, Nix? Mm -hmm. Alright, watch out, because there's going to be some smoke, alright? All right, time to make more holes because there wasn't any smoke and the chirp is still there. So hold on. I can imagine the comments that I'll get if this doesn't work. You punched holes in your exhaust because some guy on the internet told you to? <laughs> I just gotta say that Navy Thomas has not led me wrong yet. Alright, let's try that. Still very chirpy. Okay, let's try it now. Are you gonna get smoke? Yep, there might be smoke this time. Yes, noticeably less chirp. Let's keep going. So you gotta, apparently if you're doing this, you gotta go until it kind of gets stuck. And then you can kind of wedge it open a little bit. And if you're wondering how I'm going to 
fix this scar right here that I've produced. Uh, that's watch my how to paint video. Okay, so now for the final, now for, <laughs> now for the final product. Let's do it. Let's see if it works. All right, so as you can see, it's still a little bit there, but it is much, much better than it used to be. So once again, Thanks so much, Navy Thomas, for the tips. Get yourself a little bit longer screwdriver. And then uh, don't be afraid to do what I just did. All right, we'll see you later. Uh-oh.